Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. We are at the final step of the minor scales. And this is going to be really hectic if you have been rushing through the previous steps. If you haven't, this is going to be a revelation. This is going to change the way you play guitar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you through every minor mode with the pentatonic, the minor pentatonic, sandwiched in between. And because we're going to do that with the, the blues scale and the conspiracy scale as well, you're actually going to play all 12 notes. So that means that whatever minor scale anyone throws at you, you'll be able to play. Because you don't think of them as like individual things. You think of them as uh, intervals around the minor chord shapes. And that's the revelation here. This doesn't really happen with major scales. But with minor scales it does. And it's fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a master exercise here that runs like this. We're going to build Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian in that order because one interval will change at a time. So Dorian is minor pentatonic, 2 and 6. And then when we do Aeolian, it's 2 and flat 6. Only one have changed. And then when we do Phrygian, it's flat 2 and flat 6. Only one have changed. And then we're going to do a different spin on how to approach Phrygian dominant. We're going to, instead of playing the minor pentatonic or, and then adding intervals, which we can't do, right? Because the minor pentatonic has a minor third in it, obviously. So we, what we did before was to play Phrygian and then we changed one note. Now we're going to change the minor pentatonic into a minor pentatonic with a major third, without the minor third. So that's a new thing, but you'll be able to do it. And then from that starting point, we're going to add the flat 2 and then the flat 6, just like we did when we built Phrygian. So instead of minor pentatonic, add flat 2, flat 6, we do minor pentatonic with a third, add flat 2, flat 6. And then we go back to the minor pentatonic again, and we add the flat 5, and then we add the major 7. And then we play Conspirian as a grand finale. <laughs> okay? Sounds really hectic, doesn't it? But what it means really is that, yes, you're playing all these modes, but really you're just playing all the intervals. And if you can see all the intervals around your scale shape, and you can think about, like, when you're playing, I'm going to now target the flat 5. I'm now going to target the 6. I'm now going to target the flat 2. I'm now going to target the flat 6. That's much better than going plonk, here's my big scale on top of this chord. Because it's too much information. This is like George Benson territory now. I'm just thinking about what the intervals are. And that's what you're going to learn by doing this master exercise. So, let's start with the lowest possible one in A. Minor, that is. That's the G minor shape. Okay, That's the one here. And then, obviously, you're going to take this around all 12 keys. Because that's how you know you know it. That's your badge of approval. When you've done that, that's when you know you can move on. But that would make a, a very, very long video, and I would have to do it over several days, because it'd be just I'll just be really confused after a while. You just stick to one of these shapes, and you take it around the cycle of fourth, around all 12 keys, and that's going to take you a few days, okay? And then you move on to the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. I'm just going to run through all of these in A, so you get the concept. Okay? First one, G shape. Add the second. Add, oh, so I'm not going below the root note now on all of these. You could do, but I won't. Back. Add the six. Dorian. I had to hesitate there for a little bit. And 
now we're on to Aeolian, starting with adding two. Back. Another flat six. Back. And now the full Aeolian. And then back. And now Phrygian, we add the flat two. That's the flat two as well. And then back. And now Phrygian. And now when we finish Phrygian, we don't really want to add the minor pentatonic again because we're going for Phrygian dominance. So let's play a minor pentatonic with a major third. There. There. New concept, right? You can do it. You just need to know where your intervals are. Let's do it again. There. And then let's add that flat too. And back again to the May minor pentatonic with a major third. And then add the flat six. There, right? Back to minor pentatonic with a major third. And then full Phrygian dominance. Flat two. Flat six. Major third. Flat six. Flat two. Oops. Right, that's the hard one. Back to the minor pentatonic. Phew, thank God that's over. <laughs> Flat five. There, that's the great one. And then minor pentatonic again. God, we know this one by now, don't we? And then uh, major seven. So that's adding major seven, not taking it away. Minor pentatonic and then conspirian Oops Hectic scale exercise, right? But you just think building up to Dorian, building up to Aeolian, building up to Phrygian, and then the crazy one, which is we now change the minor third for the minor pentatonic, which sounds mad, but it does work. It's like a different way than changing Phrygian to Phrygian dominant. That could be the master exercise. You could play Phrygian and then play Phrygian dominant and then move on. But I thought this was a good very little variation. So minor pentatonic with major third, add flat two. Back to minor pentatonic with major third, add flat six. Back to minor pentatonic with major third. Phrygian dominant. Now you really know it by now. And then back to minor pentatonic. Flat five. Pentatonic. Major seven. Pentatonic. Conspirian. Job done. Do that in all 12 keys. And you will know your intervals around the G minor shape. That's the goal anyway. If you do that, if you know that... You can be like, okay, I'll put together Dorian, no problem. It's the six and the nine and the minor pentatonic. Uh, harmonic minor, what's that? Oh, it's uh, an Aeolian, but you change the flat seven for a major seven. Okay, I can do that. Melodic minor, it's like a Dorian scale, but, but with a major seven instead of a flat seven. Okay, I can do that. Because it's just a collection of intervals, right? That's, what's, that's the beauty of this system you find the intervals around the chord shapes. And also, if you want to build a chord, 
Well, if you know where all your intervals are, the chord will tell you what that chord should be. If it says G or A, we're in A, aren't we? A minor flat 6. Okay, so it's an A minor with a flat 6. A minor flat 13. That's an A minor 7 and then a flat 13. Flat 13 is the same as a flat 6. Where's my flat 6? Well, I know that because I've been practicing my scale exercises. And you just add those notes. That's the best way of doing it. When you're playing, improvising, you don't... I just think flat 5 there. Made 7 there. Flat 6 there. 9. Flat 9. That's a blues scale with a flat 9. That's what David Gilmore uses a lot. So it's interval, a collection of intervals. That's what scales are anyway. And by doing it this way, you will learn all of them. Okay, enough about that. E minor shape. Guess what? That was a minor pentatonic. Here it is with a, uh, with a two or a nine. this again. How many times can you play a minor pentatonic? Here one is with a six. Here's Dorian. Which is just a minor pentatonic with a two and a six. Here's the two again. No, here's the minor pentatonic again. Always go back to that. And then the two. Here's the minor pentatonic. Here it is with a flat six. Here's the minor pentatonic. You have to put that in between everything you do. Here is Aeolian. Oops. Minor pentatonic. If you don't know it by now, I don't know what's wrong with you. That's the flat two. There's our old friend. Flat six. Here she is again. And here's Phrygian. Just a combination of those intervals. Okay, now then, minor pentatonic with a major third. I know where my minor third is, that's why I can change it. Let's do that with a flat two. Flat six. Let's do it again. Let's do the whole Phrygian dominant. Seems easy now. Let's go back to this old gal. Like a reliable X. Flat five. Back to her again. Like a rubber ball, like I'm bouncing back to you. Made seven. Back to our minor pentatonic for one last time, and then we got our new favorite. Experian. Job done. That's our E minor shape. Ow, it hurts. It really hurts now. 
So you got stretch. Remember to stretch in every direction. And don't play too many scales. Think of them as intervals instead and think of how you can enhance a song, a song's harmony, by changing the intervals that you target. That's what you're learning here. D minor shape. 